My name is Lawrence Lee. I have been studying martial arts for more than 40 years, and I've been teaching for more than 26 years in this field. My background in martial arts include Chinese Kung Fu and Thailand kickboxing. During my years of research, I have made a lot of important discoveries and breakthroughs in this particular field. So much so that I've revolutionized the whole of martial arts thinking. So much so that current technology will be updated with the emergence of this particular system, which I call Lawrence Lee International. I'm now demonstrating a, uh, some of my discoveries and breakthroughs. Now, when a person punches from the hips, this is what I call punching from a negative position. When a person punches from here, you can virtually plug him up with one finger. Now I'll ask Richard to exert a bit of strength and try to come through. He's not moving because you can see there's a considerable strain on his face. There's a lot of tension in here. What happens is the fulcrum is over here very briefly. There's no leverage on his part. I've got a long lever arm. Result, I've got leverage advantage over him. He can't take off. However, it doesn't mean that a punch like this meaning a karate punch or a taekwondo punch, or some kung fu punches, uh, it doesn't mean that it's not good. It is good. But he has to clear his uh, body first. Once the elbow passes the body, then it starts to have uh, a bit of power. So this power starts from here, where Richard pushes now and lifts me off my feet. There's apparently much more power as it travels through here. So, therefore, this punch is workable conditionally. That means, if I was to be standing here and Richard was to go bang, right, then it works. But, if this was a big guy coming, charging at him with a big set of abdominal muscles and does that, wouldn't get hurt, wouldn't take off. This is a limitation of that particular punch. Up to today, uh, there hasn't been any real deep research into areas like that. And I'm weeding the bugs out of all the systems and getting technical people into the, uh, the discoveries and research so that they can upgrade their technologies without losing their identity. So this is only one of the, uh, the areas. Now, when it comes to the punch, as soon as the punch comes, a lot of people lock their elbows and knees. That's a big mistake. Watch this. From here, the elbows lock. Tense it as strong as you can. I'm going to move the man in that direction with a little finger. I want Richard to Resist me in that direction. Are you ready? Go. Right, okay. You can see, you can do this to anybody. In one of my demonstrations, I got a 12-year-old kid to move a guy 90 kilos with one finger walking around the room. Okay, let's do it a bit more fairer. Clap your hand like that. Straighten and lock elbow. Watch again. Same story. Little finger against two arms. Quick on. Ready to go? Right, there you go. That's it, right? Now, what it means is this. Once a person can be blocked with one finger so easily, meaning like this, hold strong. Try to resist any direction I, I flick you out at. And it's moving all over the place, right? Try again, right. That's it, okay? Now, that means that person can be easily deflected with a straight out arm because the fulcrum is over here. Now, if he was bent in that, hold strong. See? It's much stronger. Fulcrum comes over here. There's a fulcrum transfer involved. He has shortened my leverage. So this is just one of the little demonstrations. Well, other current technologies involve trial and error, guesswork, and a bit of distancing and a bit of timing in the, in the handling of the situation. Now, this is uh, 
seen in most martial arts tournaments where there is a bit of a, a, a fight or a bit of this to try to do a thing. If this thing doesn't work, maybe we try this one, maybe that one. It's all a whole bag of guesswork. And uh, in a street situation, sometimes when a street fighter has a flurry of punches coming towards the uh, martial arts <coughs> practitioner, what happens is, because it's so unpredictable and because they come not in one shot but in a series of punches and kicks and all that, then they find it most difficult to handle. This is where I come in. What I've done is taken the guesswork out of combat situations and put the practitioner in total control of the situation. Now I'm going to demonstrate a uh, defense system where how the defense system works. Now, this is what I term as formula fighting, where we have a single response to any attack. In the sense that some, most styles, they are designed for a one-shot attack. If you do two shots at them, they're in a bit of trouble. Or if you do this and do something else and make a fight, then they'll be in a, a spot of bother. It's, uh, First of all, I'd like to show you current technologies, how they operate. From here, we're going to do it slow. Slow punch to hit, step, step, I'm turning. Step punch, block, and then counter, a punch to opponent. However, if the same thing was done, slow punch to hit, block, before I could punch with this one, Richard delivers the blow from the second punch like that. It would have caught me. A good boxer can do this. So, I will now demonstrate how our system works, where if opponent wants to come with me with a step and punch, like now, go. What happens is, his uh, knee has been kicked, and this particular top plane has been deflected, and let's say Richard has a second punch in mind, which goes like this. He can do a hundred. There's no difference in uh, the result. The result remains that his knee has been kicked, and he's out of action. So, even this guy has got sledgehammer knuckles, be hopping around with one leg, and that's it, you know. So, we just take out the other leg, and then, job done. So, this is it. Well, in the designing of my system, this system is not just another combined eclectic system, like a lot of modern styles. But this is built from the ground up and from first principles. Now, I designed this with the following in mind. Number one, I designed this system for the underdogs. In a sense where the people who may be lighter, shorter, older, more nervous, can still successfully use the system. Number two, it's designed as a safe system, whereby there is a, a lot of coverage. That means I've arranged it in such a way, it's scientifically arranged in such a way that uh, we can hit the other person without us being hit at any time. So safety for the user brings about confidence. Now, number three is very user-friendly. In the sense that it's broad and universal in its application. You can virtually do it any or how because it's inbuilt with a big margin of error designed in the system. Now, the next one is it's designed to be faster and stronger and more unpredictable than current technologies. Number five, it is also a realistic and streetwise system, and the training is done under adverse conditions rather than under ideal conditions where a lot of current technologies use cooperative opponents in the partner to do cooperative training. Well, a person does that and that and that, and they, they get to the end a very uh, desirable sort of result. But real life is different. Uh, this is where the, uh, it is, there is a need to get uh, into realistic training. 
where if a person was to grab you and try not to cooperate and if you can still get out of it, then that system works for sure. And also, it is designed to be foolproof, where the techniques work unconditionally. Now, I'm going to show an attack system, how I'm going to come in from the outside of this position, rather than do this, what boxers do, that means duck and weave around and then shoot, we are dealing with a life weapon here. That means as I do this, he could do that and hit me, which is going to fire back at me. Uh, if I come in first with this, even if the opponent was to punch back, you will end up with that. See, as he comes in, that's what's going to happen. So this is how we engage the person first, where we'll be doing a right into that, and then from the follow-up, right, see, into the head with a what I call two o'clock punch, and that wraps up one of the uh, attacks. It's quite simple and straightforward, and. Uh, I'll just show a couple of other simple attack systems. From here, let's say I want to punch the guy in the head. Now, from here, if you were to have a look at this, the first thing to do is to remove opponent's front weapon. Right? Or into that. After the groin, Right? We can still wrap him up with hit to the throat, whatever. So this hit to the throat business is quite optional. Instead of hit to the throat, this could be a palm to the nose. So I'll turn Richard around to just show you, even if this thing is blocked by the opponent, we still have a counter-counter program. For example, from here, if I'm coming down up to here and I want to come around and punch here. I'll get Richard to block here now. Okay. Ready? Block. See, so when this is blocked, right, we could still counter this with a block punch into that. Right? So this is where the camera It's sort of a, a program that uh, counters the person who is countering you. Another simple counter counter program is this. From here, if I open up Richard here and I go block here, so Richard intercepts with our quick block, say. Okay, let's try that. As soon as I come in, that's it. You go. Okay? Alright, go. See? Even if this was blocked, like that, see? So what happens is, when this is blocked, it can be countered with a block punch. So from here, always we jam the guy and hit him. Keep on going until the person is down. So this is always a block and jam so that we arrange it in such a way that we can hit him without the person hitting back. And also another important point is, when the person is close in, like, for example, once it's that close up to this position, what happens is this leg position here, being very close back to back against person's leg, can still use this for another kick in another direction. From here, as you kick him in the knee, one kick in here, watch. Right? Sweep. In training, on the chest, in real life, on the throat, or on the nose. So this is just one of the uh, different type of technology that's being used. <clears throat> well, that was just a. Very